Hello students, in this video, we are studying D. Lambert's ratio test. How we can use this ratio test to find whether the series is convergent or divergent. Okay, so the statement of this ratio test is sigma un that is a positive term series and this series is such that limit n tends to infinity for u n plus 1 upon u n that is equal to something l then the series first convergent if l is less than 1 secondly series is divergent if this l is greater than 1 and the test fails if l is equal to 1 Okay, so this series is positive term series. This is the nth term and n plus 1th term. Nikalenge, dono ka ratio lenge. Then limit n tends to infinity. If you have a result of 1 se lesser, mila, it means series is convergent. If you have a result greater than 1, mila, it means your series is divergent. Okay, and when you get l is equal to 1, it means the test fails here. Okay, because here, like root test, l is equal to 1. Pe, आपकी सीरीज कन्वर्जेंट भी हो सकती है डाइवर्जेंट भी हो सकती है ओके टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वी विल टेक एन एग्जांपल नाउ वी हैव एनी पॉजिटिव टर्म सीरीज लाइक x upon 1 plus x square upon 2 plus x cube by 3 and so on where this x is greater than 0. And for this series, we will find whether the series is convergent or divergent. Okay. So for this here, what you will do? First, you will find the nth term. The nth term un is equal to the power of x is increasing from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n for nth term. And in denominator, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n. So I will write in denominator n. So nth term for this positive term series is u n is equal to x n upon n. Now to use D. Lambert ratio test, we will find u n plus 1. Just we replace this n as n plus 1. So this u n plus 1 is equal to x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Now we will find the value of limit n tends to infinity of u n plus 1 upon u n. So, I will write here limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1. First, I will write this x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and in denominator u n. So, I will write here x power n and I will write this n in numerator. Okay. Now, to solve this limit n tends to infinity x to the power n plus 1 in numerator and x to the power n in denominator. So, the answer is x to the power 1. And in denominator, I will take this n out and in the bracket there is 1 plus 1 upon n. And this numerator n is as it is. n is cancelled now and I will write here this limit n tends to infinity of un plus 1 upon un limit n tends to infinity of x upon 1 plus 1 upon n. Now, when you apply limit n tends to infinity, this term is 1 upon infinity that is 0. So, answer is x. Okay. By D. Lambert's ratio test limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n that is equal to x here. So, if x is less than 1, it means series is convergent by ratio test. And if this x is greater than 1, it means this series is divergent. But if x is equal to 1, it means test fails here. For x is equal to 1, according to D. Lambert's ratio test, test fails here. It means when x is equal to 1, you cannot say the series is convergent or divergent. So, what you will do in the given series, you will put x is equal to 1 and you will find the series is convergent or divergent. So, here the nth term un is x power n upon n. When we put this x is equal to 1, our nth term for this series will be 1 upon n. And here power of n is 1. And we know that by comparison test, sigma 1 upon n power p, this p is less than or equal to 1. The series is divergent. So, you will say for p is equal to 1, this series is divergent. The conclusion is that if this x is less than 1, it means your series is convergent. And if this x is greater than or equal to 1, the series is divergent. Okay. So, for this series, x 
is less than 1, series is convergent. For x is greater than or equal to 1, series is divergent. Okay. So, one more example we will do here. Now, here again, a series is sigma n square minus 1 upon n square plus 1 x power n, where this x is greater than 0 and you have to find the series is convergent or divergent. So, here let the nth term of this series is n square minus 1 n square plus 1 x to the power n. Okay. And n plus 1th term, I will write here n plus 1 whole square minus 1 upon n plus 1 whole square plus 1 x power n plus 1. Just replace n to n plus 1. Now, for ratio test, what you will do? Limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n. Okay. So, limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n. Okay. The u n term will be reversed. Now, to solve this, limit n tends to infinity, n square, I will take this n square common and here 1 plus 1 by n whole square minus 1 upon n square, okay. And similarly in denominator, n square is common and in bracket 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon whole square plus 1 upon n square into x power n plus 1 upon x power n. Here only power of x is 1. And in this also I will take this n square as common to 1 plus 1 upon n square and in denominator also n square 1 minus 1 upon n square. This n square, this n square, this, this is cancelled out. So here limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n is equal to when you put limit n tends to infinity so in this bracket 1 minus something upon infinity that is 0 to so 1 minus 0 in numerator and in denominator also same 1 plus 0 here x remain here and 1 plus 0 upon 1 minus 0 it means the answer is x so for this using d Lambert's ratio test this Limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n. The value of this is x. So, I can write by using this ratio test if this x is less than. It means series is convergent. And if x is greater than 1, the series is divergent. And if this x is equal to 1, your test fails. So, what you will do? Here, the nth term, you will put x is equal to 1, okay? So, your term will be n square minus 1 upon n square plus 1 when you put x is equal to 1, okay? To find the, the series is convergent or divergent at x is equal to 1, what you will do? Limit n tends to infinity for this u n term. Limit n tends to infinity and you will take this n square as common. So, I will write here 1 minus 1 upon n square in numerator and also in denominator n square is common 1 plus 1 upon n square. And on solving this n square, n square is cancelled out and when you put limit n tends to infinity here, this is 0 and this is also 0. So, answer is 1 and this 1 is not equal to 0 and we know that by necessary condition of convergence. If, so, if you get limit n tends to infinity u n is not equal to 0, so you can say this series is divergent. Okay, what you will say? The series is divergent. So, I will write here series is convergent if this x is less than 1. Okay, and the series is divergent if this x is greater than or equal to 1. Combining this and this. Okay, so this is the answer. The series is convergent if x is less than 1 and the series is divergent if x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so this way you can use D. Lambert's ratio test. Okay, we can say this as only ratio test also. Okay, so in this way we can use the given positive term series ka nth term find karke n plus 1th term find karke uske ratio mein limit n tends to infinity find karke ye pata kar sakte hain ki the series is convergent or divergent for x is equal to 1 you will use other test because this test is fails for x is equal to 1 okay thank you